Hello Internet, welcome to Microprocessor Tutorial Series. In this tutorial of AT85, we'll continue talking about the interrupts of AT85 and how we can control them using the SIM instruction. Now, the SIM instruction uh, abbreviates as set interrupt mask and this is used to mask the maskable interrupts of 8085 now when we talk about maskable interrupt strap is an NMI non maskable interrupt so we are going to be talking about RST 5.5 6.5 and 7.5 the pin numbers for them are written over here in the IC pinout diagram you'll find them as 789 pins now if you wish to mask these interrupts now first of all why would you ever want to mask these interrupts because let us say you are running a program in which you do not wish to be interrupted by these interrupts or more uh, uh, specifically if you do not wish to be interrupted by any one of these or any two of these interrupts then you have the ability to mask each one of them or two of them or all three of them uh, using set interrupt mask now to be able to mask these interrupts you'll need to set the bit number three which is mask set enable this bit needs to be 1 to be able to mask these three interrupts individually so uh, these three interrupts can be masked if you make these bits as 1 they'll be masked and if you keep it 0 they'll be available So in order to mask any of these interrupts or all of these interrupts or any two interrupts you'll need to first make the mask set enable as 1. This means mask is set or you can set any of these interrupts to be masked and if it is 0 <coughs> bits 0, 1 and 2 are ignored so this is what happens now there's one very very important question where do you make these bits 1's and 0's so you make these bits 1's and 0's in the accumulator and then run the SIM instruction so I'll talk about this special function register that we're talking about that will set these interrupt masks. Now if you wish to reset an already executing uh, interrupt 7.5 then you have a special bit that is going to reset 7.5 it is if it is being serviced and for that you'll need to make it one the RST 7.5 flip-flop is reset off so special ability to control uh, uh, RST 
uh, this is completely ignored this bit does not mean anything and now uh, the set interrupt mask not only uh, gives you the ability to control the interrupts but also it gives you the ability to send the serial data out of um, the serial output data pin which is pin number four in AT85 so now uh, what you need to do is you need to enable this bit to enable you need to make it one which is serial data enable once this bit is enabled you can send the data it could be zero or one by putting the data here so this is the serial output data and this bit will be ignored if uh, the bit number six is zero if this is not enabled this this would not work at all so I'll, I'll give you an example of how this works now let us say example number one we wish to mask RST 5.5 and 6.5 and we would rather keep the RST 7.5 available so what we need to do is we need to mask RST 5.5 and RST 6.5 so that they do not interrupt in our program for that what we'll do is um, we'll find out the code first so in order to mask the interrupts mask set enable should be one so I'll make this bit as one and uh, I want to mask 5.5 and 6.5 so I'll make it them one and I do not wish to mask 7.5 so I'll make it zero and rest everything will be zero I do not wish to send any serial data so my code becomes zero D H so what I'll do is I'll put this data MVI A 0 D H I'll put the code 0 D into A and then I'll simply run sim now sim is going to set the bits in A according to what we have learned so far so this is very very efficient way of setting the mask on interrupts another example is sending a serial data now for example I want to send 1101 out of serial output data pin so what I'll do is I'll first find out the code for this I do not wish to perform any operation on interrupt so I'll keep the bits over here as zero all of these are zeros and I wish to send serial data so I'll make it one serial data enable now first I want to send one so we'll start from the least significant bit so I'll first put a one here and I'll find out the code so this becomes a C zero so I'll do MVI a C zero H and sim now when I'll do sim it'll check the bits of a and it'll do whatever we've learned so far it'll see that serial data is enabled and I wish to send one now I want to send zero I'll make it zero here 
and this should be one so this code becomes 40h so I'll do MBIA 40h and then sim so in other words you can keep a keep a ready reckoner that to send one the code is C0 to send 0 the code is 40 and you could repeat it again so then you could move into accumulator C0H again and you can run sim twice because you want to send 1-1 one, one twice so that is how you can set uh, your control on interrupts and do serial communication using this simple instruction sim in a theory 5 and uh, if this video helped then please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing to the channel that helps a lot you have a good day good life bye